taking on a team from the AAC, the Charlotte 49ers. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. The Dukes will get us underway with the opening kickoff. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. So Charlotte's offense takes the field for the first time today. And here's the man they rally around, and he has earned that type of respect, David. You dang right. You earn it by doing it, and he's done it at such a high level. Everyone believes in this young man, and Palmer, there's a reason why. You're right, David. He's been in the big moments, and he's won the big games. This guy delivers when the game is on the run. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, and still short of the first down. Here on second and short. Power football with the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive that he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss. That is a statement of play. Really nice job by the defense. The offense has the whole playbook open to him on third and short. He tried to slip in the screen. Did not fool the defense at all. Nice stop by the defense. Signals for the fair catch channel. Looks it in at the 40. The Dukes offense will try to get something started with their first possession. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play while well, they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective team. Yeah, they don't always show up in the box for them. These the guys are the leaders. These guys get everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Looking to the big tight end. He's got it. Ripping through the defense. He's loose. And he'll take it in. They couldn't get him on the ground. Touchdown, Dukes. They draw first blood, and that is exactly what you want to open the season with a drive like that. And the PAT makes it 7 0. And QBs love their big tight ends, especially guys that can do such great things after the catch. He catches it. Dang, Palmer looks like a dag of receiver after he catches the football. What a matchup nightmare, too, man. I mean, he's just too big for DBs to cover, and he's too fast for linebackers to cover. If I'm this QB, I'm looking that guy's way a lot more often than this one. Pressure coming. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. This is going to be a key that we look at this entire game. How can this defense find ways to affect this quarterback and get pressure on him? Because they felt coming into the game, if they could do that, they could affect him and influence this passing game. It's a reverse. Makes a man miss. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run game coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the ground. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to pin my ears back and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on the defensive line. But when you can have balance, now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they're going to be successful on offense. Brown wants to pass. It's complete on the right side. Major gaps in that defense, and he got loose, and they finally knock him down at the 41. And that's why this guy is such a weapon in this offense, because you don't have to throw it far downfield. Just get the ball in his hands. He catches it close to the line of scrimmage, but look what he was able to do after the catch. He gets an explosive play for this offense. Hit the gas, kid, wide open ahead. Touchdown, 49ers! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. I love the execution on that play. Great blocking up front just to get the ball carrier an opportunity in the second level of the defense. And then at that point, it was make a guy miss and use the speed. That was a perfectly executed play.
PAT unit on the field. Smashes it through for the PAT. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And what a way to put a stamp on that one with a 41-yard run to the house. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. James Madison sends the offense back onto the field. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Bob. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Great job, too, by the QB there, holding the ball as long as possible, allowing the pass rush to get upfield, and at the very last second, getting it to his guy so that he can go get the first down. And it is well blocked as they pick up enough for a first down. And the Dukes will hustle to the line. And a great job by the QB, finding the running back, getting the football where he can do some damage after the catch, and most importantly, get the first down. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Back to throw. It's Morris looking to the big tight end. A beautifully placed ball to the outside and the toe drag for the big pickup. The Dukes with the first and 10. Use the play fake, now to throw. He'll take the deep shot. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. And you see the dagger concept so much in pro football, in college football. And they're just they're trying to run a guy deep to take that safety with him, pull him out of the way, and then kind of throw it right underneath that vacated area where he's at. Unsuccessfully, but that's what they were trying to accomplish here. Coming to the line, looking for that first down on third and short from the 29. Now the play fake. Throws to the wideout. And this is going to be incomplete on third down. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with that they know they're in field goal range, but they can take the three points on the board. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. It's good. And with that field goal, they now have the lead. That makes the score. James Madison, 10, Charlotte, 7. After putting up a three-spot, the kickoff unit set to go. The ball bounces through the end zone, and it will be a touchback. Charlotte will send the offense back onto the field. You want to talk about a drive where you impose your will? That's what they did running it down for a touchdown, David. There is nothing more demoralizing than that for a defense to be physical. Got a lot of running room. The 30. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Charlotte. A great catch and run for six. Man, how hard is it to defend you have a weapon like this at running back that can play wide receiver? You can design ways to get the football in his hand. Palmer, once you get it in his hands, he'll do the rest. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, and oftentimes those are easier throws for quarterbacks. These running backs, they're just naturally so good when they have the football out in space. Their vision, their creativity, their ability to make people miss. And this guy showed you right there a difficult, difficult guy to stop now if you're this defense moving forward. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. Personal foul. Personal foul. Roughing, the, Roughing the, kicker. the kicker. Defense. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. They're lining up to kick it off, and he ought to be able to knock this one anywhere he wants after that extra 15 yards with the roughing the kicker. If you can do that, I don't know why you don't do it every time. Reduce the risk. Bang it out of the back of the end zone. They'll put it in play in the 25. Guys, James Madison ready to go back on the attack. 
Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. And oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. It'd be interesting to see what happens here on the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense. Now you understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. They'll go to the ground. Well, they tried it again and got the same result. They're getting nothing in like it. Now they're looking at a third down. To the air, it's Morris. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. And Shore tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And the Dukes will try to pin them back with the punt. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. He's got great speed. Very little will make a crowd hold his breath like a punt return, and he brought them to their feet on that one. Charlotte has the ball back. The 49ers offense will return to the field. They torched this defense with an explosive passing play for a score last time out. Let's see if they go right back at him. Got enough for the first, and he's still going. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. That's another Charlotte. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Time has expired here in the quarter, and it's Charlotte on top. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. Okay, ready? They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. The gift to the back. Pushing ahead, a tough run. Picks up four, it's down to 15. Solid pick up a four on first down, it's second and six. They'll try the right side. Just couldn't get away from the tackle. And nowhere to run on that play at all. About all you can say is do better. But that's the problem. Are they able to do better? And that's why you keep trying things, right? Keep trying to get on the perimeter, run it up the middle, try different things to see what you do well. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense. And now it's fourth down. And they decide to try it out the kicker. It is perfect. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. Here he comes from inside his own five. Still on his feet. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. James Madison sends the offense back onto the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Great job on the back end in coverage. DB staying in the hip pocket of the target and was able to swat that ball away. The give to the back. Maybe picked up a couple of these down at the 24. The Dukes want to move quickly. On third and long, he has to throw for it. They're trying to get to it. Fires deep on the run. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. And the Dukes will punt this one away. Nice job in coverage there. Offense trying to take a shot downfield. The defender able to tip that one up in the air and force it incomplete. 
He gets a block. Coverage team able to put a stop to that return at the 42-yard line. Charlotte will send the offense back onto the field. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. You gotta get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So, let's see if they can be a little bit more physical in this game. It's first down from the 37-yard line. Use the play fake, now to throw. Just a short pass to the tight end. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Right, the second quarter, getting closer to the half. Offense is still having a lot of success, stringing some first downs together. Defense is going to need to figure something out before they get to halftime. It's the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. They're in the red zone, first and ten from the 20. Brown will throw it. Touchdown, Niners! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. And how about this offense, man? They must have used ball camp perfectly. Coming out, firing on all cylinders, smooth, in a rhythm. Great start to the year by this offense. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good. It puts one more on the lead. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. A lot of eyeballs on your game, guys, and a few on this interesting matchup as well. Oklahoma State is in front. They've led for most of the way. However, Pistol Pete isn't exactly putting this one in the win column just yet. They are up by seven over the Sharks. We've got our eye on this one and everything else going on throughout the day. Guys. Thanks for the update on that with Kevin. Let us know when it goes final. We'll see what they can do on this drive that starts at the 16-yard line. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. This offense has a second down play. After the incompletion, they go back up top. Quickly out to the tight end. How about the power there to get it across the 20 and up to the 21-yard line? They're at their fastest tempo trying to get off this third down play. The play action fake. And he just throws it away on third down. I don't think you can give up on a play like that. The Dukes will line up to punt it away. You know, in a third and short like that, you just have to have great chemistry between the quarterback and his receiver. They just couldn't get on the same page. Now it's hit some fourth down. Charlotte has the ball back. The 49ers offense will return to the field. And David Howe, they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels, and you back them off a little bit, you get a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse. And they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drop. Hit the afterburners, kid. And it will run it into the end zone. Touchdown, Charlotte. This offense is firing at all cylinders right now. Starting the year, game one, created a little bit of a pad and separation at the end of this first half. But you can see why so many people are really excited about this offense this season. And now they'll empty the backfield for the two-point try. Brown wants to pass. He's got it. Two-point try is good as they build on this lead. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays. They get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. He'll bring it back looking for help. 
And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. Guys, James Madison ready to go back on the attack. These guys have taken some body blows in the first half, but now a chance to do something to feel a little better going into halftime. Reese, they got to respond now. They, they, they got to put points on the board right here, cut into this deficit, create a little bit of momentum, because this one's going to get out of hand otherwise. Yeah, there are a lot of offenses out there that might just say, okay, let's just regroup and figure it out. This offense doesn't have time to do that. They've got to be aggressive. They've got to throw it down the field. They've got to score points. Brought down at the 25 after he picked up 10. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. He wants to throw. They're setting up the screen. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And the Dukes come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They try to pop a run on the draw. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Just too much juice on that one as he airmails his receiver out of bounds. After the second down misfire, looking at a third and eight. Looking to throw, it's Morris. He's got his man. Defense calls a quick timeout there, perhaps a little confusion about what call they were in. Deep to shallow. That's why I have to understand that as a defensive guy and take away those passes beyond the sticks and react to those quick throws they have to the running back. It's my athlete versus yours. The defense won that battle. They'll get down and put a stop for a return at about the 28-yard line. Charlotte will send the offense back onto the field. They've got time, they've got the lead, and David is sort of like a doctor. First, do no harm. Do no harm, but also, momentum is hard to create, sometimes hard to stop. You have it, so Jesse, don't do anything stupid to create some momentum for the other side. I think a lot of this comes down to your quarterback and whether or not he's making good decisions in this game. If yes, be aggressive. If not, let's just take the lead into halftime and get ready for the second half. I'll tell you what, it's hard to play quarterback out there on an island with all the routes they can run. And you can tell that's a timing route. He busts an out route. Quarterback reads it really, really well. Gets his hand out there, knocks the ball down. Nice play. They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires left. Another incompletion on third down. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus on the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down. Block! The Heat got to him! And after all of that, they'll take over inside their own 30-yard line. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He's got it on the move. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. On second down, they'll try the field goal to get the points before halftime. Right on target the first time. Now he'll try another from 24 yards out. It's good. So as it turns out, a two-play drive results in a field goal. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. Just enough time to get off one final play of the half. Brown will throw it. Feeling some heat. Pass is incomplete, and that's going to do it for the first half. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks, guys. A first half that saw a little bit of everything there in Charlotte. Toughest job inside that stadium right now might just be the scoreboard operator after all those first downs and touchdowns. Big plays have to find this one, thanks to two of the best receiving core in all of college football. 
let's see if these defenses can adjust and make the necessary chess moves. And with that, let's send it back to the guys inside Jerry Richardson Stadium. inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. James Madison sends the offense back onto the field. When you're facing a deficit like this one to start the second half, you really can't afford to waste a single possession. Fresh start here in the second half is the only way you can look at this if you're on offense. Things did not go your way there in the first half. It starts with one play. To get our confidence going, we just got to get something going early here on this drive. One play, stay aggressive. Now, now I think I can be even more aggressive on fourth down because obviously I've built a deficit. My defense has got to make some plays for me, too. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Listen, that wasn't the greatest run in the world, but it was very successful in making the honor the run. And another thing, every time you run the football, someone gets tackled. There's physicality involved in the game. So I like when offenses commit to the run in the football, no matter what the outcome is, because those body blows do add up. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. The Dukes will call on their punt team. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity ladder. They'll get down and put a stop to the return at about the 28-yard line. Charlotte has the ball back. The 49ers offense will return to the field. They use the end around. First play of the drive. That'll get the eyes moving. Just working and poking and prodding and front. The 36. It's going to be interesting to see how the defense is going to try to defend these jet sweeps moving forward. They have got to have bodies in the perimeter of the field with their eyes looking at these receivers in motion because they can hand it off to them at any time. They move the tight end all over. They'll give it to the back. At midfield, he's got room. He's off to the races. He's at the 10. Touchdown, 49ers! And the punishment has been extended. This offense looked unstoppable in the first half, lighting up the scoreboard, and it doesn't look much different here in the second half. They take their first drive in the third quarter, marching down the field and score. There is no end in sight for these guys. Now a two-point conversion attempt coming up. Cobra. Roll it, roll it. Brown wants to pass. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. About to kick it off Number after punching it in for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Guys, James Madison ready to go back on the attack. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job. 
job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Now they'll run the draw. Gets it past the marker. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. You got to feel good for this kid, too. He worked so hard this past offseason to put himself in position to be the starting running back, and he's got a lot of skill, guys. He's got speed, open field running ability. I think he's going to be a big part of the offense this season. And what a nice play by the You have to understand, that wide receiver gets that ball that quick. It's tough to get him on the ground. Nice job getting a hold of him, getting him on the ground for no gain. And it'll be a pickup of nine. They're facing a third and one. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. They'll try to drive ahead on third and short. They'll get the first down. It's spotted on the 49. Well, the defense is on their heels right now. They're going to have to find a way to stop this guy. When he's got a head of steam, boy, he is hard to bring down. And the Dukes are marching down the field. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, the ground game. Good pickup on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Looking to pass, it's Morris. Fires to the big fella. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. Really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run a little. And a really good job by the QB throwing an accurate throw. I, I got to hit those guys on the move, on the run, so they can do this. They can catch the football, get up the field, and chew up some extra yards. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. The gift to the tailback. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdowns. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Out of the gun, the give to the back. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, James Madison. Yeah, and this offense needs a spark, man. Down big. This is, listen, it's game one. It's not the end of the world, but we got a deficit. Got to put some drives together. Nice drive here. Now the defense needs to do their part because they got to put this thing in turbo. Lining up for the PAT. Splits the uprights. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? A bit of an under-the-radar game this week, guys, but take a look at this. Memphis has opened up its largest lead of the game in what's shaping up to be one of the more one-sided affairs of the weekend. They're up by 31 over... He'll circle back if anything big happens you should know about. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Charlotte will send the offense back onto the field. They go to the ground. Makes it past the marker. Just what they were looking for to get this drive rolling there out to the 35. David, how demoralizing does it have to be for a defense when you know they're going to run it, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to run it, and still, you cannot stop it? There's nothing more demoralizing as a defensive lineman because it just it ticks you off. It gets in your head. You, you know that guy's going to come off and smack you, and you got to do something about it. I think defense may be time to start committing more guys to stopping that run, not worrying about the pass as much. They've got it first and 10 at the 50.
Time has expired here in the quarter, and it's Charlotte on top. And they are starting to pull away as we come to the end of the third quarter. Let's take a look at how we got here. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. See if they can turn this drive into points. They've got it first and ten at the 50. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. They'll line up for a second down play. They run the reverse. At the 35, he's loose. Oh, what a move! And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Good offensive coordinators consistently do this. Consistently get your guy in space, let him use that speed, and defenses, they don't have a clue how to catch him. When you've got a guy that gets full speed ahead to start the play, I love it, because your angles have to be perfect. They weren't successful run by the offense. He had nowhere to go, no place to hide, and they'll knock him down for a loss of nine. That DB had a different story. He had something to say. Coming up, making a physical tackle. Trying play action. Got it behind the line. It's Weber. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. He's been so locked in, it seems like any pass called is a guaranteed jump play. Yeah, and in winning late like this in the ball game, keep trusting him, keep spinning. You know why? Because stats matter late in the game. You want some postseason awards? Keep chucking it, keep getting those stats. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. They'd hope to be able to pick up enough after the catch, but a good stop leaves them with a fourth and short. Really good job by the defense being physical, understanding the situation in the game. The ball's going to come out quick. You know that. Go make the tackle. Force the fourth down. They already have a comfortable lead up by multiple possessions, but they're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try it on the ground. Touchdown, Charlotte! And the pummeling has started. Offense putting up more points, and guess who's jacked up? This home crowd starting the season off with offensive fireworks and looking to go 1-0. They are loving their squad. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Personal, Personal foul. foul. Roughing the Ruffing kicker. The kicker. Defense. 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 The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The kickoff team out there to boot it away and 15 yards farther up the field after the roughing the kicker penalty. No chance for a return as that ball flies out of the back of the end zone. James Madison sends the offense back onto the field. It has been a rather forgettable day that's finally coming to a close, David. Yeah, it's been an awful day. I mean, just not, not functioning well on offense. Defense giving up a lot of points. This is a day, Palmer, they'll like to forget. Yeah, you're going to find out a lot about their character right now. Obviously, not what they hoped this would be. And that's demoralizing for a lot of these kids that have worked really hard in practice all week. But at this point here, you're just trying to prove to your coaching staff that you're not going to quit. Second down coming up. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Looking downfield, it's Morris. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. Trying to pick up a first down. From the gun, he'll try to throw for it on third down. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. No signs of any kind of kicker as they'll leave the offense out there to try to move those chains. Got it past the marker. 
He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. The Dukes come to the line with a new set of downs. Going up top on first down. It's complete. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Looking to throw it again. They've got the screen set up. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. And this game is obviously out of hand. Man. But I think the fans would argue, too, at this point, like, all right, well, let's not throw checkdowns, right? Let's throw some deep balls and continue to open up this offense and keep fighting. I think that's what you want to see. You want to see your squad not quit. Keep fighting until the very end of the football game. Now well within striking distance as that third down play gets him a first at the 29. Looking to move it through the air. Unloads to the wideout. Find space on the right. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. They've hit him with back-to-back -back chunk plays. Now it's first and goal. Dropping back, it's Morris. Fires into the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Dukes. That is confidence in your arm strength. Look at the revolutions on that one as he zips it in there. Confidence, arm arrogance, whatever you want to call it. You could tell he believed it. Put it right where he needed to. You got double coverage. You got to fit it in there. He believed and he did. On to attempt the try. Bangs it through for an extra point. They put together a 74-yard touchdown drive. And they closed it going up top for the final few inches in the score. At this point, a comeback would take one of the biggest miracles in the history of the sport, but they'll line up for the onside kick. Perfect execution on the onside kick. And how about the kicker? He makes sure that ball skips a couple times before popping up into the air and allowing his players to go get underneath it. He'll start this drive firing. Got his man in the middle. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Sprinting to the line to try to get this one off. Clock's running. They'll run play action. Coming after it. He's going up top here late in the game. And he needed a little bit wider field as that one falls out of bounds. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here with a big lead in the game. You're putting extra DBs on the field knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field and they force an incompletion on the last one. That pass is well off target. He got hit as he was trying to throw and they can't convert on third down. This offense has already converted once on fourth down. Can they do it again? He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And it's incomplete way downfield, and the defense rises to the occasion. Charlotte has the ball back. The 49ers offense will return to the field. They're in command of this game. Now let's see if they try to rub a little salt in the wound or happy with getting the W. Yeah, and listen, this, this makes the post-game handshake fun sometimes. If you do choose to rub a little salt in it and keep chucking it, keep scoring, I'm here for it, Jesse. Like, your job is to score points. It's my job to stop it. Keep the foot to the accelerator. Keep trying to play ball. I agree a thousand percent. That's like Steve Spurrier back in the day when I was playing for the Gators. You go and play for him because you want the opportunity to, to throw the ball. So when you get in the game late, you're not handing it off. We were beating Central Michigan by 80-something points. He was still letting us throw the football. It's the deep Defense's job to stop. Brown will throw it. Pocket starts to collapse. The pass is incomplete, and there are two takes remaining on the clock. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They've been trying all game long different ways to affect him. Weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy. And that's why the ball falls incomplete. Final shot falls to the turf, and that'll be the ball game. The old coaching cliche goes 1-0 every week, and for the first week, they get it done. Great start to the season. That's what you want. You want to come out 
find a way to win. Was it perfect? Absolutely not. You're going to find things to work on throughout the season. But 1-0, and that's where you want it to be. And I think if you're the coaching staff of this winning team, you've got to like what you've just seen. First game of the year, there was tremendous effort on the field. Guys flying around, flying to the football, trying to make the plays necessary to win this game. They definitely made a few mistakes, but that's what practice is for. But if you're the coaching staff, I think you're very, very positive right now moving forward. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.